Hi, my name is Lisa, and for my philosopher, I chose Locke, okay? I chose Locke for a quick little fun fact. I chose Locke because I'm currently in London, which is located in the UK, and Locke was born in the UK as well. He was a British based philosopher now discussing some of his major ideas which will go into play with the founding fathers and some documents that the founding fathers wrote okay some of those major ideas were first off his idea of natural rights okay so this was a big one that was directly into the declaration of independence okay so basically his idea of natural rights is that people are born with these certain rights they're born with them and nobody can take them away they're undeniable here's a quick quote directly from the declaration about talking about Locke's idea of natural rights okay we hold these truths to be self-evident that all men are created equal that they are endowed by their creator with their certain unalienable rights that among these are life liberty and the pursuit of happiness Okay, so in this quote from the direct Declaration of Independence, you can see Locke's idea directly affecting the Founding Fathers when writing this. Um, they are literally quoting his exact words about um, natural rights, basically. That was his idea. Okay, so we're, now we're going to talk about another idea that Locke held. Locke talked about government in the way he thought government should be. So when talking about government, he talked about how he believes government should take over. You know, he also believed that people need to give up some of their rights to the government. Um, but he also believed that people should obtain the right to stop government and to override them if they're doing something wrong or harmful, okay? So I'm going to read another direct quote in the Declaration of Independence that talks about this idea from Locke, okay? The Declaration states that whenever any form of government becomes destructive of these ends, it is the right of the people to alter or to abolish it. So as you can see, again, the Declaration is um, completely incorporating Locke's ideas. Now a different idea, not the naturalized, but another one, and you will see this trend continue in many documents that the Founding Fathers wrote. Overall, I just wanted to emphasize on some quick little points, but Locke's ideas and ideals had many impacts when these founding fathers were trying to cut ties with the British and create an independence and create this new government. So when making those documents in government, they really took into account all of Locke's ideals about government. Thank you.